Hey, what's up guys? This is Logic and I am going to react to my own trailer for my independent debut album, College Park. Here we go. Let's begin, shall we? There's no venue called The Sound House. So it was either Everlasting Life Cafe or Bohemian Caverns or Live or so many different spots. But we just did this because I didn't even think about it and the animators did that and I thought it was great. It was a great title, The Sound House. Doesn't that sound like some shit? I should just like trademark that. All right, y'all, the moment is finally here. If you came out here to turn up, make some motherfucking noise right now. Why I look so dramatic? I look like the baddest bitch awakening. Run that back. <laughs> Bro, look at me. I'm like this. Turn up, make some motherfucking oh, noise yeah. right now. For my boy, Logic. So this whole trailer was edited uh, by, you know, one of the guys who does the Marvel trailers, which is crazy to think about. This scene right here where I'm like, amping myself up, literally, that's what I'd be doing. When I grip the mic, it's like I'm looking through the face of God. So that is the outside of Lenny's home in College Park. That is the basement, that's crazy. And I can't even begin to understand why I'm so odd. Yo, Logic, wake up! What? What? You gotta go pick up Castro, you're performing tonight. Wish I was Kendrick. Days when I wish I was... One thing that I thought was like really funny is like these lyrics where I'm talking about other rappers, but it's out of context and nobody actually knows what I'm saying. And then there's this bar where I'm like, I'm Logic, something they can never be. Like the way it's edited, it almost sounds like I'm talking shit. I'm not talking shit. And when you hear the song on the album, you'll understand what I'm saying. Trick. Days when I wished I was Jay. The boys ready? Hell yeah. DC, here we come. Till I woke up one day and realized the Logic, something they can never be. God damn. Hey, girl. Yo, why they make her titties so big? Look at them giants when we walk in the room. They're huge. Look at this shit. You old sailor, you. What is wrong with you? God damn. Hey, girl. You see my homie over there? He's a rapper, and we got this show tonight. Everybody get your fucking hands up! Okay, fun fact about this is I play all the women on the album. So I do the voices of the women, and then one of my managers, Justin, actually plays the guy who robs the place. Listen to this acting. Listen to this voice acting. He's a rapper, and we got this show tonight. Everybody get your fucking hands up! Logic! Yo, I just want to thank y'all so much for coming out tonight. I'm so Here's a funny thing. Oh my God, look at me. I'm all paused on my face. So uh, in this shot here, after the skateboard, when I'm like playing with Gumby from the All I Do music video, so Castro is, is recording in this shot, but it's not Castro, it's Gravity, my original camera guy. And for whatever reason, they didn't edit him in. I don't know why, but the funny thing is, is that inside the Gumby suit in the All I Do music video, is it's actually Castro in the whole thing. So it doesn't make sense in this trailer that Castro would be filming himself inside of a Gumby costume with me next to him. Yo, I just want to thank y'all so much for coming out tonight. I'm so excited to see where this journey takes us. Now I'm here. Like years from where- Here's another funny thing. So, um, basically, there's not a long format version of this. Um, I've created really incredible scenes on this album, and we won't really get into that. But some of them are animated. And this scene at this gas station, Bobby's Petrol, as it's called, that you'll find out later, is uh, one of those animations. And the funny thing about this is, in the trailer, if you if you look, you'll see that my the phone that I'm on is a Brokia, not a Nokia, but that the Brokia is upside down. It doesn't make any sense. So I told them in the final version to flip it, uh, and they did for that skit. But the trailer version, I guess because it was locked and we were running out of time and stuff, it's, it's the original upside down version, which is really funny. Like years from where I was before. I'm always gonna do That's another thing right there here at around the minute mark. I'm rapping in the basement, but the art on the wall isn't the original painting. It's not the painting from the basement that you can see on the under pressure uh, cover. Um, and obviously the college park cover. And I don't know why they didn't even slightly try to match it. Now I'm not hating on this. I'm not hating on this on this illustrator. Amazing. Tristan, fantastic, incredible. I'm just saying, it's like, these are these like fun little things that I'm, but the thing is they, they, they capture the aesthetic perfectly, which I love. Before. I'm always gonna do this shit from my heart. I'm gonna do it for the fans. 
This shit is a fucking dream come true. Me and DJ Boss Player at the radio station. So that's what's really crazy about this too, and we'll get into it later, is like, yo, my first DJ ever, when I opened for Mac Miller, Shout out to DJ Mac. Boss Shout Player, out to Mac. is on this album. All these, a decade later, here he is. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. Thought I had to be a certain way. Thought I had to act a certain way. Man, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep spreading that. Can we just rewind it here to about the 107? Why do I look like I'm having the craziest orgasm of my life? I had to be certain way. Thought I had to like when you bust, bust your, your first nut. Man, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep spreading that positive Ooh, Mary message. Mary Jo. Mary Jo's so beautiful. So, Mary Jo's my godmother, and she just looks absolutely incredible. She's so angelic. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad that we snuck her in here. Keep spreading that positive message. The fans are going to be with you. It's 2011. Man, Big Lenny, that's crazy. And I love this message of what he's saying. You know what I mean? And listen, listen to the end. It's like such a... Message the fans are going to be with you. It's 2011. Who knows where you'll be in 10 years. So good night, yeah. Hey, Castro, man, I, I got to talk to you about something. Look, it's the hype man's job to alleviate pressure from the main act, you know? I know what a hype man is. Yo, you obviously don't, because you too hype. You too hype right now. It ain't that deep. You be rapping the whole verse and shit on stage? What the fuck? Funny thing about that is we're here at the credits. Um, that really happened. So, like, the whole Castro thing, like, Castro used to, like, I'd be like, all I do is rhyme. All I do is get this money. All I do is rhyme. And he'd literally be rapping it like it was his show and shit. And he used to fucking annoy me. Because it's like, bro, chill. You're the hype man. You're not the man. You're the hype man. You will be. You are the man at your show. You know what I'm saying? But tonight, you're my hype man. Okay? I mean, who does that? Who raps? Like, I, like you don't understand. I'm like, I'm, even on tour sometimes when I bring them out and shit, I be doing gang related and I'll be like, get down to the lane. Like, get the fuck out of your back. Like, this motherfucker. I'm like, shit, damn. Can I rap my own shit? No, I'm just kidding. I, I love him. Um, I love this here. A Bobby Boy production written and directed by Logic, starring Logic, Six, Big Limbo, and Castro. And that was really crazy. Um, and we'll, we'll do more videos on, on um, you know, the depths of how we created it and what it was like. But they, they really, really killed it. It was super fun. Executive produced by Logic, Six, and Postman. Um, so that's the homie Kyle. Um, I produced the whole album, basically. Like, I, I executive produced it. But I wanted to share this credit with my homies because we've kind of created this liege together called the Producers Lounge. And basically everything that I do when I'm not producing it myself, if I'm, you know, if I'm not executive producing for, like, another artist or something, I think we're just going to go by the Producers Lounge now because it's really cool because we all are putting stuff in. Engineered by Bobby Campbell and Postman featuring... RZA, Lucy Rose, C. Castro, Andy Hall, Big Limbo, Fat Trail, Phil Ade, Red Man, Seth McFarlane, Static Selected, Joey Badass, Nora Jones, Jordan Harris, Lil Kiki, and Von B. Pretty crazy. See you soon, Rooster. See you soon, Rooster. To be completely honest, there's really not a lot of Easter eggs. It's really just not. Um, because for me, it's more about the story. So I think it's actually the most, one of the most present I've ever been um, when conveying a visual you know like if you look at the vinyl days cover it's just full of you know any any of my album covers they're full of stuff but this is different I wanted it to just be about the people and what was going on so yeah